And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Bayonetta. I'm here to make sure to fix it. I'm to commentary. We're fighting this boss of some sort. I don't... Okay. Okay. That that kind of hurt, jerk. That that really kind of hurt. Okay, wait. Evade! Because that's how we do things, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing things Dragon Ball Z. I wasn't expecting a boss chapter, actually. But does that mean that we're going to have to fight like a mini version of this guy eventually? Oh, dodge, by the way. Should I, should I use my my Mega Greener Bollipop? I'm not sh quite sure if I want to or not. Okay, whatever, it's no big deal. Let's go ahead and finish off the old fashioned way. Oh, by the way, you should probably dodge Bayonetta because stuff like that's gonna happen. And YB to evade. I have a, for a second I was like, oh, I need to make sure that I'm not talking the next episode. I just freaking started this episode. I'm so stupid sometimes. Oh, by the way, uh, that's right, I need, I need to do like a climax on that, I forgot. <clears throat> Let's try that again. I keep thinking that I need to dodge it because I do, I just do. Okay, wait for it, throw it, and climax. There we go, mash the X button. Oops, I was hitting the Y button because, oh, climax. I was hitting the Y button because I'm an idiot. There we go, 800. <laughs> now you're like that, let me go over here. The, the Beast Within? Guess who's back? Can is back. Yeah, he's back. Tell a friend. As in Andrew Can, as in Weekend Game. One of my... Oh, that was a new one. One of my friends who does also this YouTube. Why am I talking like this? I have no idea why I'm talking like this. It's like I'm taking a serious poop. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and beat you up. The old-fashioned ray. I swear, if I die from this, I'm going to call the cops. Okay, there we go. Done for. Now we're probably gonna have to do some other climax of some sort in order to destroy him. Right? Right? I think so. Anywho, whoa, what? You're still alive? Why are you still alive? Oh, climax, there we go. Ugh. I don't know how you could mistime that. This game, <laughs> this game seriously treats its um, quick time events like this is no hope mode, no hope mode in uh, Resident Evil 6, but that's not the case. They, th the game pauses for a second to allow you to. That is really disturbing looking, by the way. I wonder how long would it take to. Oh, match that X button. I wonder how long it would take to grow that much hair in real life. <laughs> Destroyed. Sort of. Is he? No? Okay, bye bye. Now, where are my new best friends? I suppose one of them is an adult, so they should be okay. <sighs> okay, what do I get from that? I didn't die a single time. I did use some items though, so that's probably gonna drop me down to a silver? Perhaps? Maybe? Yeah, I got a silver award. Silver is Luca? Really? Okay, so stone is Enzo, bronze is Cereza, silver is Luca, and I wonder what gold and platinum are, and pure platinum, because the... Can you get pure platinum stat award? Oh, well, you can get pure platinum, uh, whatchamacallit, so... Angel attack! Okay, I have to be very precise with these shots, because... Okay. I have to be careful here, because I want to get that 40 so I can get that increased vitality again. I didn't get a single arcade bullet, though, so I might not get the, my 40. Who knows? Okay, so wait for it, and... Shot! Headshot! Wait for it again. Just gotta take your time, is all. Wait for the opportune time. It has... 
Their head has like a really big hitbox, I think. Of course, it's kind of annoying when those small fry shoot, jump right in front. Okay, wait for it. Boom, I missed. That might have cost me my 40. And you can't buy- the thing is, you can't buy the Blue Witch Hearts, so you have to get them from Angel Attack, I think. Okay, so, wait for it. Oh, that wasn't a hedge. Oh, looks like I'm not going to get my 40. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted, having that Blue Witch Heart. Now I'm going to have to do things the old-fashioned way, I guess, with my reduced health. <sighs> oh, well. I'd, yeah, I think that I if I had just one more bullet, I might be able to get 40, assuming that I was able to get like a bunch of other headshots, but I doubt it at this point. Let's see how much I can get. Headshot. And... Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, dang it! Are you kidding me? Those, those were headshots, ladies and gentlemen. I swear on me mum, those were headshots. Alright, whatever. So much for that, freaking... Can you reverse exchange? Like, can you exchange halos for points? I don't freaking know. Uh, that's so annoying. <laughs> no, I don't think you can. Oh, no. Alright, whatever. Let's see what we got here. We're moving from Vigrid Holy Air Force Base. Oh, we're still there. Alright, Chapter 12, The Broken Sky. Let's go to the gates of hell and get our stuff. <sighs> I wish you could buy those blue witch hearts. I really wish you could, but you can't because... Why? Hey, check this out. What are you buying? <laughs> Heard that in a game once. Okay, that is definitely a ref reference to Resident Evil 4. <laughs> what you buying? What you selling? <laughs> Which wasn't developed by Platinum. Interesting. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Like, maybe accessory... No, these are just, like, clothes. Items. No, what I could do is buy, like, a Witch Heart. But that's not quite the same. I, di I didn't even use my Mega Green or Lollipop. That's pretty cool. Alrighty then. Uh... Techniques. Now we have enough for one more technique. We're gonna buy this one. Charge. Yeah, we'll buy this one. Probably the the bat within that's probably gonna be the last thing that I buy simply because it's I just don't know how to use it properly. Exit. Yes, please. Man, that makes me mad. <laughs> Those two should have I mean that wouldn't have made a difference, I don't think. That would have only increased it by 10, giving me uh 25, but still. Let's save, by the way, I forgot to save. Over slot one, because that's the logical thing to do. Nine hours, fifty-nine minutes, and fifty-one seconds of playtime. So already, it's gonna take me longer than the how long to beat to do this, because I'm pretty sure that how long to beat averaged at eleven hours. So. Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such? Magical glasses. <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy! Wait, you think witches do what? Oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm sure you will. <laughs> mummy! Shit! You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, 
You always say the oh, same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was a all misunderstanding. Just... You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist, too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages. Controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the Light and Dark clans suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid, 500 years later. 500 years? Each clan working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail, and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. Legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, a multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. something I am how did you lose it little one do you have anything you really like something really important to you yes this I love it you get this? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday. When you love something, never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Well, that was certainly an oh, military transport, Valkyrie, interior. That was certainly an eventful cutscene, don't you think? May ow. Okay, so that's how you're gonna play it, huh, game? All right, I see how it is. Oh, go. Okay, no, I clearly I don't see how it is because I. Okay, I. Are we gonna have to fight uh freaking jump? Oh, <clears throat> I mean the white-haired chick at the end of this. I I don't freaking know. Maybe. I I have no freaking idea. I don't know who else could be summoning these uh witch feet things. How I need to pay attention to how many how many uh hits. How many hits Bayonetta does with that combo. It's like eleven or something like that, so which is actually quite a oh dodge. Okay, no, it's coming from that. Yeah, there is definitely a witch in the premises here. Red hot shot. A wondrous demonic medicine that can save a witch from the deaths of mortality. Automatically used when vitality is depleted. Interesting. I don't think we've ever used- Oh, that should come in handy. I think. Ooh, there's a book! First of all, let's break this and say- Oh, that's- Okay, uh, check, check, I swear. Okay, that's kind of baloney. That's kind of balloon. This shit is bananas! P R Q S P V Y. There we go, got the Umber Chair of Blood. Let's go and look at this book. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> the Valkyrie Military Transport. Details. The Valkyrie Military Transport. Unfittingly, for a city of its small size, Vigert plays host to a large military airbase. The, ro the roar of takeoff and landings that engulf this city are not that of passenger planes, but of incredibly large military transport jets known as Valkyries. I have been aboard American military transports many times in an official capacity and have been and have seen many of the finest jets up close. However, none compared to even a distant view of Valkyrie. The si of a bike Valkyrie, I should say. The size of the difference is clearly evident with like the difference in size between a crow and an eagle. To think that something that large could fly in the sky is something that I still cannot believe, despite having seen it with my own eyes. Of course, there is no doubt that the cargo it carries is quite dangerous, so seeing its pl the plane's huge mass literally drop onto the runaway during landings caused me to feel a deep anxiety as if the weight of the plane were li literally landing on my shoulders. It leads one to wonder what the authorities are bringing into this little principality. With all the extreme security they have in place, Vagrid has long since cut most ties to the outside world and has reared itself within its own unique culture. Perhaps it is this influence that led to the Valkyrie's equally unique design. At a glance, one can see the deep religious influences in its designs, or perhaps that view is simply our deference to a plane born of technology, so different from our own that we simply nod our heads in astonishment at the miracle of flight. Well, if that wasn't interesting, I don't know what is. <clears throat> By the way, let me, let, me, let me look at some stuff here. So... But can I combine the gun with the... Yeah, I could... Hmm. Let's try that real quick. Let's... What is... What is... What is, like, shooting with that? It feels exactly the same. Except for I feel like I can shoot a little bit faster. I think I'm gonna stick with these. Anyway. Awkward pause. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.